Hey, hi, it's Jim. How are you doing? Welcome back to part two of <laughs> Songs from the Wood by Jeff Rotel. Um, I say part two. Uh, it's maybe part three because normally when I upload these albums, I have to split it over three, sometimes four videos. Um, so this may be, it may be part two. It might be part three. I don't know. But we're on to side two. Uh, this is uh, Velvet Green, The Whistler, Pie Brock cap in hand i think that's how you say it and fire at midnight four songs um this is a really really great album i'm enjoying this a lot very very earthy yeah uh, very grounded um very real and honest i think that's kind of the my takeaways from the from the first side is just just lovely and really really good right the record is lined up the record is spinning. I must apologise before we start. Uh, I have a raging cold again. Uh, so if I'm sneezing, coughing, spluttering, I'll try to edit it out. But uh, if, if, I, if I miss one here or there, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's not COVID because that's been and gone. I've had that. Uh, so, and I, I keep testing for it and it's not anymore. So it's a cold, but it's horrible. Right. There we go then. Everything recording, that's recording, that's recording, that's recording. Yep. Three, two, one. Touchdown. Sixteenth-century court music.
If we live the life Let's light and trust On golden daffodils That gets a silver screen That washes out the wild Notes seed on velvet green Absolutely wonderful. Leaning so heavily into traditional um, English folk music, pastoral music. I think that's the difference. I was saying about the um, difference between uh, Jeff Rattel and Yes, both being amazing musicians and compositions. This draws influence from his English traditions. Whereas I think Yes is more drawing from jazz and classical. So two quite different things, but both absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Ha, huh, right, we move on to the whistler. Oh, 
I love this bit. Imagine a big maypole with people dancing around it. Ah, right. We have Pie Brock. Brackets, cap in hand, close brackets. Settled on a rhythm that I, I wasn't expecting. In the woods, in the valley, there's a thought in the head of a man. Who carries his dreams like the coat slung on his shoulder?
Back to the beginning again. What an incredible song. What an absolutely incredible song. That was a journey. That was a real journey. Right, we've got one left now. It says Fire at Midnight. Fires at midnight when the dogs have all been fed. A golden top beyond the mantle, a broken gun beneath the bed. Silken mist outside the window, rocks and you slip in the dark. Too much hurry burn the body. I'll sit easy and the spine. Kindled by the dying embers. Of another working day Go upstairs, take off your makeup Hold your clothes neatly away Me, I'll sit and write this love song As I all too seldom do Build a little fire this midnight It's good to be I am so so enjoying this um, this uh, discovery. It's a discovery for me. I know. I know. I know he's been found before. I'm not. I'm not laying claim to Jethro Tull for 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 mankind. It's uh, so. That's why I say this discovery. This discovery for me. Um, it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I love it. I love the. I love the earthiness and the. Um, and as I've said, the honesty of this music, it just feels so absolutely music for the common man. And I, that, and I don't mean that in a sort of a, in a disparaging or a sort of a, any sort of, a, in a negative way. Um, it's organic and, and real and played on traditional instruments. It just feels far more music for people for the common man folk music if you will but it's 
it just is done in such a way that it's it's looking back at the traditions of 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 what's fed into modern life uh the traditions of of of, of folk music of pastoral music of of uh people dancing around a maypole of uh just all these traditions from england and i'm going to say from england it is it's english music um but then just elevating it and giving it a a modern when i say modern 1970s rock twist and it's it's beautiful it's fantastic i love it i love it i love it i love it this is what real music by real people can sound like and his his voice with this is this it is quite a gritty voice isn't it he snarls almost and it's observational it's talking about people and it's it's just a very very different view of the world uh, the view of the world through a Jeffro Toll lens is quite different from the view of the world through a Yes lens. Two Andersons, John Anderson and Ian Anderson, both doing a similar thing, singing, leading a band at the front, um, providing the lyrics, both doing it in extremely different ways, uh, but both coming up with the goods, both coming up with something quite unique, quite amazing, and quite wonderful and just awesome. Um, again, this is music that ought to be known by more people. Um, certainly, um, I think we have a we make a mistake as a people of not embracing what has come before, only looking at sort of like stuff that is around now. Um, young young people. This, is, this makes me sound terribly old, but. Young young kids are not going to want to listen to this, on the whole. I mean, they, you'll get some exceptions, but uh, it's kind of. And I get it. I think probably when I was I was uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen years old, that cover would have put me off hugely. And the same with the heavy horses one. It just, it just, it is evocative of everything that I didn't want to be involved with, of old-fashioned, of of things that weren't trendy or modern or new, or there's no technology involved. It's just, and I get that, but did I miss out? And is uh, people who are not listening to this, they're missing out. So there we have it. Side two of Jethro Tull's uh, 1977, 1977? Yeah, 1977 Songs from the Wood. Uh, what a wonderful, wonderful record. So very, very different from a lot of the other uh, prog stuff that I've been listening to of this era. So you've got your ELPs, your Yeses, who are doing very Pink Floyd almost as well. Uh, music is very sort of lofty in its ideals. It's trying to uh, elevate your consciousness into this higher plane and uh, and just with extraordinary music, uh, which sounds not of this earth. This is quite, quite the opposite. This is music that is very much of the earth. This is so grounded. This just feels honest and, um, and, and amazing. I love the use of all the traditional instruments here. So there is nothing um, fancy, nothing, uh, nothing that is out of reach of the common man, if you will. So this is music that's been played on hand drums and acoustic guitars and tin whistles and flutes and hand claps. And, and it just feels like it's the music that could be played in a pub uh, with blokes sitting around a table next to the roaring fire. You've got your pints and your, your tankards and you're sipping your ale in the tavern, and this is the music you can imagine. People outside dancing around a maypole. I mean, it's just absolutely, it is just such, such wonderful, evocative, genuine, real, honest music. And I love it. Absolutely love it. Anybody who's recommended this, and there's a lot of you, thank you. Um, I'll certainly be doing more, as I promised last time I would be doing more. I will be doing more again. And, uh, yeah. Love it. Jethro Tull 
This is number three, crossed off. Uh, I'll tell you what we've got here. I don't know if I'm going to do this next time, but uh, this is a another. It's a recent acquisition, stand-up. Uh, looking forward to that. But I haven't listened to it yet, but I have just opened it. <gasps> Look at that. How cool. How cool is that? Certainly does stand up. So I'll leave it there. I'll see you guys on the next video, whenever and whatever that is. And until then, <coughs> hopefully, this is Jim over and...